This is a Photoshop Elements 10 video about selecting the file type for saving an image. I want to start out here with an image uh, that I took with a uh, camera. This is uh, came off the camera as a JPEG, and so that's how it's uh, been saved. Now, uh, if we want to save this file after we've done some work on it, uh, we have a number of choices in terms of files. And uh, we'll go to Save As. And this is typically the uh, what we'll see. Now this is what we started with as our starting image. And we see a number of formats. And the format shown right here is the uh, format that uh, this came off the camera. As we look at the number of formats here, uh, one important one is, that we'll see, is the Photoshop PSD. Okay, and this is the uh, file format that will save uh, all the information, including any kind of layer information uh, that you've used uh, on this file. So for whatever else uh, you use for a format, you'll uh, want to save image in that uh, PSD format. So I'm going to select that here and uh, save it. Now then we're also going to look at um, saving it uh, in another format. And so we'll go to save as. Now that uh, PSD format that I saved it at is only readable by Photoshop. So it saves all the information. It's in full resolution. There's no loss of any kind but it does have the problem that it can't be read by another program. So if we're going to use this file uh, somewhere else, whether it's uploading it to the internet or anything like that, we're going to have to choose uh, another format. Now the, the format we save it in will not retain the layers, so those layers uh, will be merged uh, when we do this. Now the most uh, common ones here would be the format that it originally came in, which is the JPEG. JPEG is a uh, lossy uh, format but it's compressed so uh, it will be a much smaller file size which will uh, upload to the internet or download from the internet much faster so JPEG is a good choice for most pictures we and this was the format that we originally had it in now very uh, another one that's very useful is the PNG portable network graphics one very valuable feature of the PNG format is that it can save transparency. So this is the only way to save a uh, transparent background. This format is lossless, uh, so there's uh, no choice of compression level or anything, and there is no, no loss on it. So uh, it's very useful, particularly if you have any objects that you put in this um, or any text. Uh, it does a, do an excellent job on text, so we're going to choose the PNG. And when we go to save this, we're going to be uh, given a choice of interlaced, non, or, or interlaced. And uh, interlaced is uh, mostly used for um, saving multiple resolutions of a picture so that when it uh, can be say, downloaded from the internet, you'll see first the uh, lowest resolution, then slowly the higher ones as it downloads. And with the um, higher download speeds, typical. Uh, there's not a whole lot of use for interlaced, and the file size is larger, so you would normally be choosing none. So we'll go and save that file as the PNG. And finally, we'll look at uh, one other file format that you could use. And so we'll go to Save As. And you might choose to save this file as a TIFF, which is an uncompressed format. And this is uh, much larger. It's going to be uh, about the same size as the PSD. And, uh, but it is a large uh, lossless. Uh, it contains all the uh, feature information. So we'll save that. And we're going to pop up with some choices here. And uh, unless there are layers, in which case there might be a choice uh, down here in the layer compression. I'll leave all this stuff uh, set as it is. And so we now have uh, saved it in all these different modes. Let's take a look and explore here and see the difference in file sizes. 
So we started out with a 5 meg uh, picture. Uh, when we saved it as the uh, PNG, we got it at uh, about 11 meg. Uh, saving it uh, as a PSD was 17 and a half, and then 18 and a half for that uh, TIFF. So uh, typically you'd want to save, if you've done any work on that uh, picture, any layers or anything like that, you want to save that PSD for the full to save everything that you've done. And then in terms of using it somewhere else, uh, I like the PNG for most applications. Uh, there may be occasional situations where the size of the file is important. Uh, this JPEG was saved at full setting. Uh, we're going to take a look at that one more time. And if we take this uh, file right now and go to save it as a, a JPEG, and, uh, test on there, and we're going to save. And when we do that, we're going to get some choices. We're going to get a quality. Uh, and so this would be maximum, which is what the original one was at. And uh, this is uh, we determine the file size. So just to get an idea of how this would come out, we're going to take it down to a medium, so that's six, and save it at that uh, medium compression. Now we'll go back and take a look here and. Uh, You'll see that we've taken this down to 1.1 uh, 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 meg, which is uh, much smaller than that uh, 5200 uh, kilobytes, 5.2 meg, that we had for that starting image. So uh, compression in JPEG uh, can be done. And now we're going to open this, and we'll be looking at the test image and uh, doesn't look too bad. So those are the choices. Uh, PNG would be recommended particularly with any text or graphics involved. Uh, JPEG for uh, compression and um, we're always saving the uh, PSD. Uh, further information, see uh, drinfrastructure.com.